Hey you guys and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I am festive today because I'm going to Disney World to celebrate my niece's birthday and my birthday, Betsy's over there. Um, <clears throat> so first I wanted to make a quick video. I know that you guys, I don't know what Betsy's doing. Um, you like my ears? I kind of made them DIY. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to make a quick video um, and it's kind of like, I don't know something motivational today um, I don't even know if you want to call it motivational because I'm so over that word lately um, <laughs> told you we all go through things right but I wanted to leave you with this um, for today in this really short video and it's what does life mean to you and I'm not here to preach to you tell you what you should do how you should do it I'm not a therapist by any means I'm not a professional or any sort um, I'm just a lover of life and a lover of things of learning and growth but I want to ask you what does life mean to you like what what does it mean what's the definition of life for you um, how important is it to you like how do you value it how do you appreciate it how do you take care of it how do you nurture it how do you live through it um, and as you know with the Dear God Are We There Your journey, it's all about asking questions and it's not about always the answers. You know, whenever I talk about my podcast or when I do videos, it's not about what the answer is per se, it's about what the question is. As long as we're asking questions, that means we're getting our mind, Betsy's little friend, she has a little friend over there. Anyways, um, <laughs> you see her? Um, Asking these questions provoke a way that we feel and think because it's making our mind um, <clears throat> go in a different momentum. It's making our mind realize the what if, the how, the why, and it just opens a Pandora's box of other questions. <clears throat> and in my experience, in my life, I've, I've found that questions make moments because questions make me see things a little bit better. It makes me ask questions about some things I don't understand or ask questions about why things are the way they are or ask my own self questions when I'm writing something, I'm reading something, or say hi. hi. It's for my YouTube channel. <laughs> see, it's all for my YouTube channel. <laughs> so asking questions provokes that um, that sense of like where do I go from here why am I going from here why am I thinking this why shouldn't I do this why should I do that so ask yourself how do you live your life and how why do you live your life the way it is and it's okay there's no right or wrong I'm just asking you a question again this space is for budgets and business my empower my passion to empower and of course self-growth that's the whole purpose of this YouTube channel and my purpose of the dear God are we there yet movement is asking questions and yes I always say are we there yet are we there yet because I'm always asking this I mean literally that's how I used to pray and for a lot of you don't know but um, it was a time in my life when I was like, you know, I was really down, I was really sick, and I was like, are we there yet, are we there yet? And it used to be this mantra because one of my favorite books, um, uh, Dear God, It's Me, Margaret, Judy Bloom, love her. Oh my God, I freaking love her. I think she saved me as a child reading because I read her books so many times. But I kept asking myself that question, like, are we there yet? And I kept, every time I asked myself, myself that question, I answered it with, well, well, let me focus on the now, or let me focus on what I'm doing now, or I'm appreciating what's going on now. My whole point of this little video today for, uh, it's supposed to be, you know, my passion to empower, is ask yourself these questions about life, because we have 2019 coming up, and, you know, and I used to do this too, so I ain't gonna be no hypocrite, where, you know, I had resolutions, and I had all these things, and it was just like, no, I don't want resolutions, no. You know, I'm going to stop saying I'm going to lose weight every single Monday. Hello, I'm Dominican. We are always on a dieta, okay? Um, or, you know, whatever the case is. Like, I, I don't want to do that. And I think it's my mind has been changing for a lot of different things in that in my life that has been happening in a positive way. But I think it has to do with these questions I just keep asking myself, just like my next book, which is 
I can't really tell you, but it's a little bit different. It's not just a regular book. But um, I, I can't keep asking my question, the questions that are just going to leave me in the, oh, I just wanted to answer. I have to ask questions that are going to keep provoking new questions that are making me like, oh, wow, I never thought about that. Ask questions to yourself. When you start making your list for your resolutions, stop using that word and use it. Be don't use it because what happens is that they don't, they don't stick. Um, they say it takes 21 days for you to have a habit, like to make something of a habit, right? Well, we, we, that's a meta, that's a goal, and we make it, y después, that's, I mean, and then, you see, I, estoy pensando en español. So, I, I need to stop because I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking in Spanish and I'm like talking in it. Anyways, um, yeah, like we make these, we make these goals and then we get to the goal and then we're like, oh. And it's like, I think that's what leaves a bad taste in people's mouth when it comes to the word goal. A lot of people hate it, they cringe at it, they don't like it. And I love goals, but I've changed my goals now. Does that make sense? Anyways, so see, I got top off topic, but that's the beauty of this. Um, my point is that ask yourself questions. Ask yourself the right questions, and actually, there's no right or wrong. So ask yourself questions. Never stop asking yourself questions. And for this specific moment, ask about life. That's all I gotta say. So I'm gonna go off to have fun in the most beautiful world. I mean, the most beautiful place in the world, Disney World. You know you love Disney World. And if you don't love Disney World because you have not experienced Disney World, yeah. And by the way, Disney World in Orlando, I love Disneyland and, uh, and California. It's so beautiful, but ooh, Orlando, it got you beat. All right, you guys, have a beautiful day. And if you want to be on the podcast, go ahead and email me at hello at deargodawethereyet.com. Every Tuesday, new video on YouTube and new uh, podcast show. Yes, once a week. That's it. That's it. Um, but um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs>